Hi class, we're going to take a look at uh, the unit that we started on shading and this is unit one, Shading Basics, and this is uh, the tutorial for assignment number one, which was to draw a cube or a cube-like object in five different poses from observation. So what you could have done was set up your cube. It could have been a Pop-Tart box or anything like that to set it up in a spot where you could um, observe it, draw it, or photograph it if you couldn't leave it sitting out and look at it from five different viewpoints. So do, 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 do. turn it around and look at it and then render that in thumbnails, which we had discussed earlier. So let's take a look at how I did and we'll discuss a few things. Okay, I have often had friends of mine who during the thumbnail process, even with the drawings like right here that I just did, who have used um, markers for uh, creating their values. So you could do that if you had um, a lighter gray, a darker gray, and a black, then that would be very easy to do. My uh, my markers are quite dry right now, especially my black one. So all I'm going to do is use my uh, lighter gray up here and this would be a much quicker uh, less messy way to lay down your uh, values it wouldn't require a whole lot of messy charcoal and if you happen to have even some Crayola markers or some um, alcohol based markers it would make that much easier. If you do not have charcoal when you're trying to do this uh, assignment, you could also use colored pencils or crayons and pick a gray that would work for your grays. You could pick two grays, like a light and a dark gray, and then your black, and of course your white would just be your blank paper. So uh, that's one way that you can adapt this to the supplies that you happen to have at home. If you don't have a whole lot of art supplies and you'd still be able to get this assignment done and get the general idea of the assignment. If you do have pencils, even just number two pencils, they won't get very dark. Or you do happen to have art supplies at home, try and do this in graphite or charcoal if you have them. 
uh, charcoal pencils such as this are very, they're, you can find them at Walmart. Walmart, most Walmarts will carry these. Uh, so here's a less messy way to kind of create your thumbnails without getting all the mess like what I have on me. You just have to be careful with them. If you're using Sharpies or alcohol-based markers, uh, make sure you put something underneath your paper, especially if you're using thin paper because they do tend to bleed through. Even this is very thick paper, it's pretty thick. Um, it is still bleeding through just a little bit in some places. So uh, just be aware of that as you're working. The main thing that I was looking for, and you might've seen my arm go into the uh, field of the camera every so often, I was sighting, I was measuring and looking at the direction of the angle. And I just think of my thumbnail or my paper as a clock and the angles as the hands on a clock. So I was looking at where this was pointing. I was like, oh, okay, it was about at two o'clock or one o'clock. And this one right here would have been, you know, around if this was six and this was seven, this was like eight o'clock. So um, I was trying to just kind of see the direction of those angles. And we'll talk more about sighting whenever we start working on the um, sketches for your still life because there's some siding techniques and some measurement techniques that I will show you that are definitely very helpful. So this is my thumbnails for exercise, or actually I think I worded it assignment number one, which the assignments are going to be just like practices that are very, very necessary to train your eyes. Right now, we're just trying to train your eyes. We're trying to uh, work with your perception of things and get you in the habit of looking at something more than you look at your paper. Most uh, beginner artists make the mistake of looking at something and then they don't look at their paper um, any less. They continue to constantly look down at what they're doing and not at their subject matter. So they kind of look at their subject matter and then they do kind of, oh yeah, it's a box and a box looks like this or oh yeah, it's this. And then they start drawing from memory and human memory sucks. Just think about how many things you forget um, how many things can interfere if you've drawn enough of these boxes the box that you start drawing for your memory might not be the box in front of you you might draw a box from another instance or another situation um, you just can't really trust it so you got to train your eyes you got to train your eyes to be super observant to notice every angle every nuance every change so that when it does come time to draw you have trained your eyes to be observant as possible. So here's what your five boxes would look like. This one was very dark on this side, so I kind of cross-hatched on it a little bit because my gray, my dark gray, wasn't quite dark enough. So this gives you an idea of how to do different boxes. I know that these two are not very different. They are slightly, if you look at this area and this area. These two are pretty much the same pose with the light shown on it in different ways. So. There's assignment number one, drawing a cube from five views.